bonded. At the age of 23, Kamal started looking for answers about the meaning of this life. He started asking himself questions about his existence. My upbringing was a, quite a very good upbringing um, from a middle class uh, family. Uh, I think uh, the area where I was brought up, which is Thornton Heath, was quite a rough area at the time. Um, even me, myself, I was a little bit of a, a rebel, you know, being young, uh, younger. Um, but uh, I used to like my friends, you know, my friends were, were okay. And, you know, the family was uh, quite a tight family family unit. Um, but I think overall, you know, my, my upbringing as a whole was good, you know. My mother and father, they did what they could. Kamal is a professional chef and he is still in the profession. Through some old friends, he came to know about Islam. As he learned about it, straight away he became a Muslim. I was started searching for the truth. Um, I was raised in a Christian family. My, my uh, friends, a lot of my friends were Moroccan. And, you know, when I started searching, I used to speak to them and tell them that I'm going to go back to church and everything. They used to, you know, um, warn against, you know, going back to church and tell me that, you know, Islam is the way. And, um, you know, I felt offended at the time, but I took it in, being that I was, I was searching. Um, a friend who I used to go to school with, primary school, phoned me completely out of the blue, uh, which was a, a great, uh, a big sign for me, because I haven't heard from this person for about 10 years. And he got my number and phoned me and asked me, you know, if I was um, interested in embracing Islam or he had heard that I was interested in embracing Islam. And I said yes and uh, he, he come and met me. I just accepted the truth when it came to me. Yeah, I remember the, uh, the time when I just had taken the Shahada and uh, I left the shop that I took it in, I took it in a, a carpet shop, so I was downstairs and I remember when I stepped outside, I distinctly remember the feeling, you know, I've only felt that feeling twice in three years of being Muslim and it was just like a, a pure, like a cleansing, you know, inside I actually felt different and my stomach was full of butterflies and I was just overjoyed, you know, like, um, you know, it's really very really hard to put it in words, but I felt this sort of feeling also when I went to, to Mecca for Umrah. And since those two times, I've never felt that feeling again. My future plans would be definitely, first of all, to, to accumulate, uh, you know, a good level of knowledge and understanding. And then obviously go back to where I came from, being London. My main... Uh, thing is the youth uh, in London. Um, I know a lot of the youth, uh, especially growing up with a lot of the people in the, you know, the local areas, Thornton Heath, Croydon, uh, Streatham, Brixton. So that's my main, my main goal is to go back and give the correct dawah and inshallah the people will uh, accept and embrace and those who have embraced will come to the correct understanding inshallah which is obviously following the authentic sunnah. So this is my, my main goal for the future you know and inshallah to keep my family in the Muslim lands, you know, inshallah. Buddha, a light in every home.